We're here in Coconut Grove for our latest episode where we're gonna be meeting up with Derek, Jay, and the Ross Brothers team. And we're gonna take you through the entire process to take this beautiful, traditional Mediterranean home and turn it into a transitional Mediterranean home. So join me, let's meet the team inside. We often have clients that move out, obviously, but this particular instance, they're gonna be in the home, so. Our biggest concern is making sure they have a good flow throughout the house, everything is kept nice and clean and orderly throughout the project. The main thing of this particular project is going to be the preparation and the ample protection for all the goods that are in the house, the flooring, and working our way all the way up to the upstairs, and obviously protecting all the valuables and everything as we go. Please be careful of the door. So this is the heart of the project right here. Uh, we have a lot of work to do upstairs and downstairs, but we have this stairway which is in between. The reason why this is very important is because we're obviously ripping out all the, the concrete stairs and railings and we're putting in new uh, wood steps, wood risers, and a new staircase. But the issue with this is each stair that has to go in has to be put in first before we can do a um, template for the railing and the railing's gonna take six weeks. So we have to finish everything upstairs, be done with everything, paint, finish the whole entire job. Then Eddie's gonna put in the steps, then he's gonna template the railing, which is gonna take six weeks, and during what we're doing that phase, we're gonna finish the downstairs. Uh, we're here to discuss uh, the starting of a project here in Coconut Grove. Uh, we did an extensive walkthrough with our team today and our tradesmen. Uh, we, we had a two hour meeting last night to go over the project through a Matterport system, which is basically a 3D camera that we use. Um, and today was the physical walkthrough. Once you get up here to the top level, this is all gonna become wood floors. And we're going to match the stairway in here in a nice square. So this will be all beautiful wood, light wood floors. And the, the stairways will be a dark tread and then that dark tread color will be in this square. I think it's very important when you're dealing with a house like this is it's okay to bring some modern flavor into it, but it still has to have the same you know, uh, concept when you're complete. And I think that's really important for what we're doing here. In here, we're gonna continuation with the new floors. We're gonna leave the wall unit in place. We're gonna pull off the toe kicks. Over here, we're also gonna be putting um, approximately 16 lights. Uh, obviously paint, new baseboards. In here, we're gonna redo the closet. We're gonna put two doors in here. There's gonna be two frosted doors. This whole closet's coming out. And then everything is coming out of here. We're ripping open these walls because this is gonna be all one open closet. So that's basically what's going on here. One of the points is we're gonna have to move the existing attic entrance to a location over here. We are not touching the wall unit. That is staying where it is. We're putting a new countertop, new sinks, new faucets, new mirrors. There are gonna be two lit mirrors. There's gonna be TVs gonna stand. And that is gonna match the top porch. is gonna match this and this. And we have a new tub and we have a new uh, faucet. And then we're gonna be doing vinyl flooring throughout. We have a first time we're using the product. It's a marble look vinyl. that's so gonna go right over the top. And then in here, we're also gonna be building a cabinet that's gonna be going over here. We're gonna take the day, move it where the toilet is or toilet, take the toilet where the bidet is and put a cabinet in there. I'm really looking forward to doing the um, transition in the master bathroom. Um, we're using a new product that we haven't used before for the flooring, so I'm excited to see how that's going to look. And just updating the master bathroom is going to be a huge benefit for the homeowners. Remember that the Merlins are actually going to be living in this room. So all the stuff that's in here now is coming out. These boxes are not going to be here, so we don't have to worry about that. So we're gonna just, here is just basically demo out the TV unit, move the lighting, install a new TV unit, put some lighting in the ceiling. So the kitchen is nothing except electrical work, dropping the ceiling, and of course, again, paint. So over here, when we do this demo, we're gonna to have to put a containment up all the way here to protect the rest of the house from the dust. So we need a containment that leads through here and then out the door. And again, one of the most important things we're gonna have to, those are beautiful mahogany doors. Everyone take a look at them. There's not a scratch on them. We finished the project, there's not a scratch on them. We gotta make sure we protect those doors and uh, we make sure that they're taken care of. 
So our thoughts are that we're going to remove all this furniture, pack all this furniture out. Um, we need half inch plywood throughout the flooring to protect the flooring. And then we will build a temporary wall up to probably the height of the balustrades from plywood, okay? And then what we would do, we can contain this area all the way along here and over on the other side of the hallway. I think what makes us totally different than any other construction company is that we do a lot of emergency rebuild work for mold and water damage. And so we have a different take on containment because we do it in those jobs. And we basically have taken the same MO from what we did on mold jobs and incorporated it into construction. We just arrived here at Dakota, home of Ross Brothers Construction, and we're gonna be going inside, gonna meet with the entire team, and we're gonna be discussing the entire project from start to finish to coordinate the entire calendar. So come on inside and let's go see the team. Well, the first stage, of course, was moving everything out and getting all their valuables moved and secured. Uh, and you'll see downstairs that we've actually created a chamber for all their furniture as well as their clothes that zipped up. Uh, what's really nice is it's like a bedroom for them. They can go in there, they can go, you know, pick her clothes for the day. Uh, and, and it's totally protected from not only this part of the construction, which is kind of segregated by the doors, but when we do the next level of construction, it'll be completely protected as well. You know, as we continue on through the process, we'll be setting up different areas to be able to make sure that the house doesn't get dirty and that we put negative pressure and the sheetrock doesn't get all over everywhere. And a little bit more challenging will be when we start destroying the concrete steps and, and doing the sheetrock in the ceilings and changing out all the lighting to small lighting. That is going to obviously require a lot of dust and dirt and control. So, so that'll be interesting, but we, we're up to the challenge. When we finish the upstairs, we'll be able to live up here and it'll be brand new and beautiful while we construct downstairs. So, uh, you know, our whole goal is to make sure that the process is, is more, is, is just as important as the craftsmanship. Thank you all for joining us on this episode where we're here in Coconut Grove with Derek and the Ross Brothers team, where he took us through the entire process from beginning to the walkthrough to preparation containment and making sure that everything is protected in the home. So that way when they're getting into demolition, everything goes smooth and seamless. But I'm sitting here with Derek and we're gonna be talking about and just touching on what's next, but what's incredible with all the shortages in the construction world, the fact that you guys are able to stay on time and be able to finish a project within the time that you guys allotted for. But you know, tell us, what can we expect to see when we come back here in this project? Next step in the project is we continuation with the demo stage, which we're right about halfway through already. Um, that will finish up at the end of this week. This week we'll also be receiving all the wood for upstairs. It's engineered wood that's going to be absolutely beautiful. And a lot of people don't know this, but you need it to actually acclimate to the temperature and humidity of the house. So we'll sit for the next five days while we wait for that to happen. And we're waiting for the plumbing supplies to come in as well when we'll be starting the bathrooms. That's amazing. And you know, when it comes to hiring a contractor, most people, they don't know what they should ask or what, you, what they should know, but you guys set the bar and you raise the standard in everything that you do. And it really comes down to hiring the right pro and making sure that they're taking preparation as important as what they're doing within the project itself. I would say we probably have 250, 300 hours into this job before we even swung one hammer. And I don't know anybody else who's doing that in the industry. And that's definitely a big difference of why our projects move as quickly as they do and as smoothly as they do. And that's why the finished product looks as good. But again, you hit on the uh, situation with, plum with supplies, plumbing supplies, building supplies, sheetrock, all that kind of stuff. It's a real problem right now. And if we weren't planning ahead and ahead of our jobs, we definitely would have a huge problem. No, absolutely. And it speaks everything. I can't wait to come back on the next project to see what the progress is. But stay tuned for the next episode as we're going to go back inside. and We're going to check out all the progress to see how they're taking this Mediterranean traditional style home to a modern masterpiece.